Watch this if you want to learn how to make muscle gains with lightweight and short rest periods. Next caller is Micah from Indiana. What up, Micah? How's it going? Hey, guys. How you doing? We're good. Dude. Amazing. All right. Good to hear. So I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of backstory here and give you some context. So last year, I did a whole lot of just split training before I found the show. And then I heard you guys talking about full body training. And so you sold me on that idea. And I went ahead, got anabolic, uh, eight weeks in, absolutely love it. I started doing the muscle pump and that's not, it's not too much of a problem because I've done like 15 reps before, but what I found was the 30 second rest breaks were absolutely killing me. I mean, uh, I've, I've come from, you know, doing one minute to all the way up to three minute rest breaks, just talking to people, you know, like more powerlifting style stuff. And so for me, like 30 seconds just doesn't feel like I can fully recover before the next set. So what I'm wondering is, should I just really focus on like dropping the weight, like way below what I, what I'm used to doing, or is it worth doubling the rest periods to kind of focus on adding more weight? No, oh, first option. Yeah. yeah. Reduce the intensity and go lighter. Reduce the weight. Yeah. Cause the point of that phase is uh, strength stamina is the pump. You're going to have to go way lighter than you think. You could, you could also incorporate cardio to help you with this too. So a lot of times this happens when I, I mean, when I fall off and I haven't been training consistently any sort of cardio at all, and then I go to short rest periods and I'm like gassed yeah. and that's because I have no cardio endurance at all. So you could, you could one lighten the load up and stick with it and then allow your body to adapt and get good at it. It will, it'll eventually catch up or you could start to introduce some days or some bouts of in, uh, cardio, like hit training in there. And watch how that benefits your sets. You'll see that you'll get better at those sets just because you've started to incorporate some. That's the drawback of never doing any cardio. Then, and this is also why we're not anti-cardio. I mean, here's an example of where I would recommend somebody add some cardio in there if you don't want to have to reduce. I can the weight. totally relate to this too. By the way, like this is one of those where I started working with Adam actually, and like was taking me through some of these like hypertrophy style workouts with like cutting the rest periods and it was an ego check because you know i just want to lift heavy weights and and to reduce it down i had to go pretty substantially lower than i thought i could do uh within that rep range and then breaking that up with like a shorter rest period so uh it is one of those transitional things like you'll get better at it the more you practice it but if you haven't been incorporating that style of training the whole intent is uh, based around that. So stick with that. Yeah. When I do face like a phase three style like this, the first week is terrible. It's by the end of the second week, I start to feel like I'm getting it a little bit, but just to give an example, let's say at the end of phase two, I'm doing sets of squats uh, for 10 reps with 315. And then I go into phase three where I'm doing sets of 15 and there's 30 second rest. I'm down to like 155, like half, like half the weight that I normally would. And the first set, doesn't feel that hard. The second set, oh my gosh, this is getting really hard. By the third set, I'm like, oh crap, like this, I think I'm going to pass out. So, so that's what you got to consider that when you do your sets that I got to be able to do this the third, the third time as, uh, as well. Cause the first set will feel kind of easy with the amount of weight that you're, that you should be using. That's appropriate for this style of training. So you got to go much lighter than you are now. Otherwise you're going to find that you just can't get through it. Okay. Awesome. And, uh, since I'm not used to that style of training, would you suggest, uh, maybe doing more like four or five weeks instead of just the three weeks of the phase three? That's you can. Not That's not bad. That's yeah. not a bad decision at all. You can. Okay. I, yeah. I never do because I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it yeah, yeah. to that Same. point though. I like that. I mean, I like that attitude of recognizing that, man, I'm like really bad at this. I haven't mm -hmm. done this. I don't do this enough. Yeah. Therefore I'm going to make myself stick in this a week or two longer than it's asking me to. So I do get good. I like that. That's a yeah, good attitude mentality. versus what most people do, which is I'm going to spend an extra week or two in the shit that I'm good at and that they do a lot of, which yep. get they get less benefits from That's where me. You, you'll get more benefits from sticking in the stuff that you don't like and that you're not good at. So I, I love that attitude and yeah, I would right. totally encourage that. But it's that. gnarly. It's a gnarly feeling. It's, it's the, it's the, I'd much rather lift the weight that I feel like is going to crush me than do reps where I feel like I'm going to pass out. You know, it's just, it, it, oh, it does suck. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it does suck. It's hard. Same here. <laughs> Well, good deal, man. Do you have any other questions? Uh, no, nah, just uh, just wanted to say too. Appreciate all the stuff that you guys talk about, especially you know the 
kind of bringing awareness to the mental health and spiritual aspects of working out and how that all bridges together. That's something that I think a lot of people should talk about more. So it's really awesome. Excellent. I appreciate that. Let me send you a program. Do you have mass performance? Uh, yeah, uh, performance and aesthetic. Oh yeah. So you have the, the RGB bundle. All right. Then we'll send yeah. you map symmetry. I think that'll be the next one that you can get some value from. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thanks. No problem, Micah. Thanks for calling in. Yep. See you guys. The, the, the switch from high reps, low rest period to heavy weight and low and a uh, long rest period. I love that. Yeah. The switch from heavy weights, long rest periods to short rest periods and high reps sucks. Well, you yeah. know why that is brutal. though, because it's just we're so brutal. Well, none of us are endurance guys. None of no. us are, you know, if you were an endurance guy and a cardio guy, sure. it would be the opposite. They'll love that. Yeah. Yeah. You love that because it's your, that's which by the way, I love the kid's attitude. Oh, yeah, I love the idea attitude. that he recognizes he sucks at it. Uh -huh. And yeah. because of that thinks he should stay in there another week or two, which is the opposite of what the average person would do. The average person would be like, fuck this. Yeah. I'm out of this. Oh, I did the three weeks. I'm out. Yeah. Get yeah, me back to the stuff I really like or cutting it short going like oh they only do two weeks of it then they move back yep. to what they love to do which is a, a very common habit yep. of people that train themselves and you know his attitude he'll get more benefits yeah. the more uh, he practices the better he'll get absolutely it. totally